TV Nickel and Ali Moreno. We start, of course, at the camp now, where it finished Barcelona 3, Liverpool 0. Barca with a 1-0 lead going at half-time, thanks to the goal from Luis Suarez. The second half, Lionel Messi scoring from close range, and then Barca's third goal coming from a stunning free kick for Messi, putting Barcelona very much in pole position when it comes to qualifying for the final. It's interesting, Craig, you look at that 3-0, you think, well, Barca must have dominated the game, but... Was it as simple as Barca took their chances? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think obviously they were more clinical. Uh, it's, it was the big concern for Liverpool. Uh, I thought they played some good stuff. Uh, I've seen them playing a lot worse this season and, and, and struggle. Uh, or get a result. You know, they went in there, the game started like a house and fire, it toured and fraud, there was lots of space, unlike yesterday's game. But ultimately... We talked about this all week, for two weeks. What's the difference between these sides? Yeah. And it boils down to kind of one thing, and, it, and, it, and it's messy. So Liverpool wasn't a bad performance, but it was a bad result. That's, that's, that's a good way of summing it up, really, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I, nobody can have a problem with the way Liverpool played in this game. Yes, before the game, we saw that Firmino wasn't starting, and Gomez was also in for Alexander-Arnold, and we kind of wondered what he was doing. But for 75 minutes, Liverpool more than matched Barcelona on their home field. Mm. And you can't ask for more than that. After that, then we're just talking about one guy that they'd said, and that's Messi. You know, um, it, gets, it gets the rebound off, off the crossbar, but it completely panics, <laughs> pulls it down with his chest and then tickles it over the line. You were saying that anyone else would head of that? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, I think mo most other players would try and adjust themselves and head it. Not this guy. He knows exactly what's going on around him. He knows exactly how long he's got, what time he's got. He knows exactly what he's going to do, and he does it as if it's, it's, it's just like pouring himself a glass of water. And then the free kick. <laughs> the free kick. <laughs> he's hit this thing from 30 yards. He's, he's, it's outside the wall. There's nothing wrong with where the wall's positioned, and he's brought it back in and giving Alison Becker, one of the best keepers in the world, yeah. not a chance of getting anywhere close to it. It's incredible. When you let, that's 600 goals now for Barcelona, for Messi, and we did talk about it. And, yeah. and, and that's why we talked about it so much as being the difference. And today, he was. He was, and we are not surprised. Because we sit here, and see, the standard that he has set for himself is so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that we sit here, and we're not surprised that Lionel Messi did what he did and how well he played in spurts, and how well, whenever he touched the ball, everybody else is now paying attention. The goal by Luis Suarez, and it's a tremendous ball by Jordi Alba, and it's a great finish by, by Luis Suarez. The reason it happens, part of it, is because a lot of people are paying attention to Lionel Messi, who's sitting on top of the 18-yard box. Like, clearly, this ball has got to come across to Lionel Messi. Everybody pays attention to him. Great ball by Jordi Alba, good finish by Luis Suarez. He affects the game in so many different ways, that you just cannot understate, or, or overstate, I should say, the importance of Lionel Messi in a game like this. When you have two evenly teamed, do you have a talented groups, when you have danger on both sides, when you have teams that can allow themselves to really maximize their potential, the one winner above all of them, yeah. the difference maker, the guy that puts everybody in, in a different category altogether is Lionel Messi. Salah is a tremendous player, but he's not Lionel Messi. So when there was a moment for Mohamed Salah to become and to finish with his right foot, he puts it off the post. Some people who said, unfortunate, unlucky, I'm saying, if you're Mohamed Salah, you have to put that ball in because that changes the dynamic of, of, of this whole series. Lionel Messi on the other side, calm, cool, collected. He finishes his chances. Thank you very much. See you guys later. 2-0 or 3-1 was, I think, gettable, potentially. Thinking about the the free kick, yep. it's just top draw. So that probably has killed the game. You just talk about the chances missed. Mane in the first half, you know, Sal uh, Salah with the, yeah. with the right foot. There were, there were, there were Milner had that chance as well. There were others. I mean, Barcelona yeah. had chances because Liverpool were so gung-ho at the end and with set pieces and that, trying to get their way goal. But I do, I do think they should be... Well, they don't have to be, but I do think special mention to Luis Suarez here because... He, from a neutral point of view, he was a pain in the backside again all night. You know, we were watching the commentary, Stevie said, you want him in your team. And Liverpool did have him in his yeah. team for a few years. And he was a brilliant player for Liverpool. 
but he stood in offside position half the time. So the centre-halves are back round checking where he is. That's taking an eye off Messi dropping in the hole. So he's always giving you a problem. And then more importantly, when he scored, by the way, on, he was trying to rub all the Liverpool players up the wrong way, so he's getting in the head, and then he scores, and he celebrates. There's none of this nonsense. I was at Liverpool, it's a great <laughs> club, and I loved it there, and I don't want the fans to be upset with me, so I'm not... It's a Champions League semi-final, and yeah. I just think he epitomised, because he's not had the greatest of seasons by his standards, but he epitomised the... And there was a bit of needle in the game, sure. But he epitomised the attitude of wanting to get to that major final yeah. game. I, I don't think we should, we should understate how well Liverpool played. Listen, after an hour... They, they took off a, a forward in Coutinho and put on a defender in Semedo. That's how dominant Liverpool were for the first 15 minutes, particularly of the second half of this game. So, as great as we know Messi is and, and as fantastic as Suarez's goal was, Liverpool were... Com Barcelona could not get out there half of the first 15 minutes of this game, the, the second the, half of this game. But the problem is they lost 3-0. And because you, you started this show by saying was it because they took the chances... You really could sum that up. Absolutely. Yes, Salah should have scored. Salah had another one save from Ter Stegen. Uh, Manny should have scored. Uh, Milner had a couple of chances where he could have done better. So, absolutely, this was not about who were the best team. This was about a team that didn't take the chances and the other team had a guy called Messi. Yeah.